Hey everyone, it's Deb from Newtown Medi Spa, and I'm coming at you today with day number two of tips from a Medi Spa during the coronavirus lockdown. And first and foremost, I just want to say that I hope that everyone is staying safe and staying indoors with your families. Look at this as a gift of time, get to know each other again, have some fun, play some games, get some activities, and maybe look at this video for a little distraction that we all need in our day right now. So I want to talk to you guys today about what's on my bathroom shelf. What do I use uh, on a day-to-day -day basis? We've had a lot of calls coming into the Medispa about people wanting to buy products, asking us what products we recommend or what we think they should buy. Um, you can go to our website, to our Instagram or our Facebook page. You can go to um, our uh, email and just email us. And if you'd like, we're giving virtual consults where I could get on with you um, on a Skype call and you could ask me whatever you want. You could try and take advantage of that. We're trying to answer all calls within 24 hours and ship out all products within 48 hours of request. So my bathroom shelf, um, it's pretty simple. I have a very simple routine for my skincare. I, every single morning, probably for the past uh, eight years, I get up and I do the exact same thing. Uh, full disclosure before we start, I just want to say that I have recently, right before we left for the coronavirus lockdown, we had a uh, Newtown Medispa Staff Appreciation Treatment Day. And during my treatment, I didn't get Botox, I didn't get fillers, but I did do a Vivace treatment. And Vivace is a micro needling treatment where needles go in and out of the skin, 36 needles at a time and it has a radio frequency being emitted into the deep layers of the skin, which is like a heat. And what that does is it causes a destruction of the cells underneath the top layer of your skin, and your body has no choice but to go into a repair mode to repair those cells. And what it does is it just helps to tighten the skin. It really increases the collagen and elasticity of the skin. and um, I'm 50 years old. It took the consistency of my neck and the skin of my neck back to when I was about 35 years old. I had from the top of my head to the bottom of my neck, I had about 37,000 needles put into my skin that day. It is basically pain free because during the process you go, we go through, we uh, numb you up appropriately. And um, I actually had a little Cronox during that treatment, so I really didn't feel a thing. But you could see some of the residual dots or grid marks that it left on me. I'm about four or five days out right now, and I still have some of these marks. Um, I have no makeup on or no cover-up, so you could um, see they're very easily covered up, but that's what they look like um, from standing distance. All right, so my routine. Sorry, back to that. Uh, every morning I wake up and I wash my face with Aha Baha. It's an alpha hydroxy beta hydroxy acid uh, cleanser. And you need about a pea size into the hand. And what I do is I will foam that up, foam it, foam it, foam it with some water. And then I will rub it all over the face. It'll even take off my waterproof mascara. And I also foam it on my neck. I usually use it in the shower. And I let it sit there with the foam for about 30 seconds because I want it to do its job. I want those acids to go to work and, and help to repair that top layer of my skin, take off those dead cells and make it look refreshed and new. My second step of my daily morning routine is my Obagi vitamin C. And vitamin C should be used in every single person's regimen. Every single person from your mid-20s on up should have this on your bathroom shelf. Vitamin C is an antioxidant, and it'll help take those dead skin cells and help with the free radical damage and get rid of all that damage on the surface of your skin. It is one of the staples of anti-aging. This Obagi bottle will last you about six months, and you take just a few drops of it. I do one little drop there, one little drop here, and one little drop on the top of my head. Ooh, until I feel it dripping. And I will rub it all over the surface of my skin. You can see it looks almost like it's a shiny consistency when it first goes on. That will absorb into the skin within five minutes. So I'll put that on. I'll wait five minutes, and I'll just put on my basic makeup um, for my routine during the day. So 
I will also use my sunblock. So vitamin C and sunblock are my morning routines. My nighttime routines is almost exactly the same. Wash with my aha baha and I use a retinol. And a retinol is different for everybody. Retinols come in different strengths. It's 0 0.025, 0 0.05, and 1.0. And everyone would think, wow, I want the 1.0. I want to go for the best. I want to go for the strongest. Don't do it. Um, the stronger the retinol gets, the more of an acid effect it'll have. So if you go right for the 1.0, you're going to give yourself a chemical peel, or you could possibly burn yourself. You need to work your way up in the strength of the retinol. So start at 0 0.025 and work your way up. I've been doing this for seven, eight years, and I'm still at the 0.05. That's the one I use every day. Um, that's all my skin can tolerate without being burned or flaky daily. And if I put this on, I feel like it's burning somewhat somewhere on my face. I'll just skip a day to make sure that I'm not going to um, cause a burn. Last thing in my nighttime routine is my Latisse. And Latisse is for your eyelashes. They help your eyelashes to grow longer and thicker. And what Latisse is, it's a small bottle of medication. And I take the Latisse and I will put one drop of the Latisse onto the makeup brush. And I will take that makeup brush and brush it right over the line where the skin meets the eyelash. And then I will take a second drop. And again, I will brush it right over where the lash meets the skin. And doing that daily for about two to three months will just cause your lashes to get longer and longer and longer to the point where some people have to cut them. They get so long. Um, again, if anybody wanted any of these products, you can DM us, Facebook Messenger, or uh, Instagram Messenger. And last thing I want to show you guys today is because of my Vivace treatment, I am super dry, super, super dry. And I know you guys have heard a lot about hyaluronic acids in the news and media. I see it on TV commercials all over the place. Skin Medica makes a hyaluronic acid it's called HA5. It is the top of the line hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is a molecule that holds its weight in water by 400 times the molecular size. So what this will do is help to hydrate my skin. Any of the moisture on my skin, it'll hold. And any of the water, the moisture from inside, it'll help to retain. And putting just a small bit of this, one pump, is enough for your entire face. And what it does is just really, it feels, it feels like instant silk on my skin as soon as I put it on. Um... And one thing that I don't use on a daily basis, but I did want to talk about right now because we've gotten a lot of inquiries about it, is an, an eye cream. And I want to talk to you about a really great eye cream that just came out from Skin Medica. It's called Instant Bright. And Instant Bright is their proprietary blend that they use in their um, TNS eye cream. Plus they add a little bit of caffeine. So if you have any bagginess or any swelling underneath your eye, Use the Instabrite. Prior to using the Instabrite, it does come with these little pads, these little um, little packs of pads, and I'll show you how to use them. So you take one of the little pads and you put it right underneath the eye, and you would leave that there for 20 minutes. And in 20 minutes, when you take this off, it's supposed to really help with any kind of um, swelling or, or edema that you may have underneath the eye. Um, upon taking this off, upon removing this pad, is when you would put a little bit of the Instabrite. And the Instabrite, you put under the eye, and you could even track it to the upper lid. Um, it doesn't burn the eyes if you get it close to the lash line at all. And daily use of that has been shown to significantly in, uh, decrease the wrinkles around the eye, the fine lines, a little crepey skin underneath the eye, and that swelling or baggage look that people can sometimes get underneath their eye. Um, so that's enough with my bathroom shelf. I want to just tell you guys a couple home remedies I found, um, which doesn't seem as therapeutic, but if we're desperate, we're desperate. So I found that um, one way to fight free radical change and to increase some collagen and um, some elasticity in the skin is to either use a mashed banana, which I took a banana here, and I did mash it up. So you could take the mashed banana and put it on your skin, 
Another thing was um, egg whites. Egg whites on the skin can also help uh, fight some free radical damage. Um, most importantly to me and I think to everyone and what we all should have on our shelf every day is some good old vitamin C and some orange juice. So ingesting orange juice helps to um, help with anti-aging, increasing collagen, getting rid of free radicals. Um, ingestion of aloe vera will help um, some sterols in, in the body to help with anti-aging. And what else have I read? Oh, essential oils, different essential oils such as lemon, rosemary put onto the skin can also help um, as a, lemon would be like an antioxidant, rosemary would be um, helping with free radical damage. And another home remedy I read was a oh, facial massage, which I don't really recommend too much. I don't want to massage underneath my eyes. I want to be gentle with that area. So hope my home remedies helped. I hope my bathroom shelf uh, information helped you all. And again, if you have any questions, please PM us or email us, and we'll try and get back to you as soon as we can. Guys, stay safe, stay home, enjoy your family, and find an activity today that's just going to put a smile on your face. Okay? Brighten up, and I hope everyone stays cheerful. See you all soon. Bye.